It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Brewery Bevog out there in Germany and it's a bottle of their Rundin Black IPA. It's 7.4% ABV, it's 67 IBUs. But take a look at this label, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't that look fantastic? A really nice looking beer. And that label's fantastic. Uh, there's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass then and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. Black IPA. Is it going to be a black IPA that, that confuses you and you can close your eyes and think it's a, a, a golden ale? Or will it be a hoppy stout, like some people like to suggest these days? It's two different types of this beer. A lot of people, early on, when they were brewing black IPAs, used to just colour the black IPA with malt. And you think, blimey, it tastes like a hoppy IPA, but it's black. That used to be the, the signature thing about a black IPA. The quality of the bottle the black IPA. But then moving on four or five years later, it's almost become hoppy stout. Um, the beer was kindly sent to us by beerdeluxe.de. Um, lovely, lovely company who are our channel sponsors from Germany. Um, they sell craft beer from all over the world on their website beerdeluxe.de. It's a jet black beer in the glass. It's two finger, slightly off my head. I've really got to get into this beer. Let's get the aroma. It sounds fantastic. Looks fantastic. Yep, I'm gonna go with. Cho I'm definitely gonna go with hoppy stout. Reason being, it's got a lovely chocolate malt aroma, and then it kind of slightly kind of curves off to to a, a slight hint of it being. A, 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 a black IPA because it's, it, you do get a sense of that hop in there as well. With it being, what did I say, 67 IBUs, you can almost taste the strength of that IBU in the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. Yes, wow. Um, hoppy Stout. Hoppy Black IPA. But boy, I'll tell you one thing, it sure is hoppy. What I like about the beer at 7.4% ABV is that lovely creamy feel. Not trying to be a drinkable session IPA or a session lager. It's pushing towards being an imperial stout, but with a whacking great finish on the hops on the back end. It's, it's a lovely beer. Look at that lacing on the glass. A real quality looking beer. Brewery Rundin out there in Germany. And I was just commenting on the beer we reviewed before on how in Germany you, you always you ex almost expect this lovely creamy tan colored head and boy don't that deliver. Look at that for a wonderful head on the beer. It's quite, I gotta be honest, I can say that American hops, you get a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit, maybe at a stab in the dark, we're talking Centennial, maybe some Cascade, but it's very difficult with it being such a big roasty, chocolatey stout at the same time. It's very difficult to, to be able to actually pinpoint the hops in this beer, to actually say yes, this is Centennial or this is Cascade because that lovely roastiness 
that chocolate, that coffee, that caramel in the beer, it, from the roasted malts, that kind of slightly tobacco smoky flavour is, is hiding, is, is masking the hops enough for me not to be able to get it bang on and tell you for a, with 100% confidence what hops are in the beer. But a quality beer then, let's show you what the beer looks like with all of the yeast added to it. There we go. So slightly kind of more of a, looks like a, a dark mild now, rather than a stout. But the quality is fantastic. I kind of, I'm just standing here whirling the beer around in, in front of the camera because it just looks so good in the glass. Let's give it a final thought and a rating then. Aroma is fantastic. Being able to whirl the beer around like that and then getting your nose in releases all of them flavours in the beer. You're getting more of that malt, you're getting more of the hops. Um, I'm quite excited about this beer. Um, I'm going to give it quite a good rating. It's got a lovely mouthfeel, it's quite creamy. First and foremost, is it a stout, is it an IPA? We'll call it a black IPA. It's a staggering beer. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.